Hey everyone, I'm Mitch, aka My Awkward Asian, and today I'm in Vancouver, BC. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite food places to eat. So let's go. The first is Boiling Point. It's known for their individual hot pots, which hits the spot during those rainy Vancouver days. It has several locations in Japan, China, US, and of course, it's in Vancouver too. The wait can get pretty long since it's a lot of food, so when you arrive, you can quickly enter the number of people in your party in the ticket dispenser and wait to get seated. They have an amazing set lunch menu for their hot pot. Select your hot soup, select your spice level, select between rice and vermicelli, and it comes with ice green tea or black tea as well. It's a place you definitely want to hit up every time you're in Vancouver. Shifu Tong is a Taiwanese-based bubble tea cafe that specializes in brown sugar pearl milk tea. They import all their ingredients from Taiwan to stay consistent with the ones found in Asia. What makes this one unique is that they stir-fry their tapioca pearls and brown sugar in order to add extra charcoal flavor to the drink and for freshness. They're perfect in sweetness, texture, and it doesn't taste too artificial like other bubble tea shops. They have an interactive area with fortune teller sticks, which you select randomly, and a number will be attached to it. Find the number on the cabinet wall to receive your fortune, like, great things will happen if you spoil someone. You can't visit Vancouver without trying one of the most famous food places, Japa Dog. It's a fusion between a hot dog and Japanese style food toppings which would create dogs like Tenkatsu Dog, Yakisoba Dog, and much more. You can't really go wrong with any of the ones you decide to eat. They also have shake fries, which are fries shaken with spices like butter and shoyu in a paper bag, which gives it a wonderful flavor. They have consistently won numerous awards every year, and they have many outside vendors located across Vancouver. Kintaro is an iconic ramen house in Vancouver because it was one of the first ramen restaurants to open up. The decor is very simple, yet very chill. A perfect place to grab something quick if you're on the go. They offer many different kinds of ramen, and you can choose the richness of your soup and the fattiness of your meat. You can't really go wrong with any of the numerous ramen places on Dobson Street, but my experience with Kantaro was it was very cheap to eat, ramen portions were very generous, and it was very delicious. La Forêt is a gigantic cafe which the decor feels very warm, modern, elegant with a lot of greenery like plants and trees throughout the cafe. They have a wide selection of coffees and desserts from cakes and pastries to waffles and bingsu. Be cautious because some of the sizes of the desserts are a lot larger than you initially realize. If you're a fan of cafes, coffees or desserts, this is a place you have to stop by. Sura in Korean means meals prepared for kings. The interior design is a fusion between traditional Korean culture and modern aesthetics. It has been open since 2008 and has won numerous Vancouver restaurant awards. The portions are quite generous and taste like very authentic Korean food. It's usually always packed and a little bit pricey, but it makes up with how delicious and full of flavor their food is. Uncle Tetsu is a popular bakery known for their Japanese cheesecakes which are light and fluffy. They have over 70 locations across the world like in Japan, Malaysia, Thailand, Australia, and many more. But if you're in Vancouver, why not hit this place up too? Customers can be seen in long lineups just to try some of the delectable cheesecakes which have become so popular that it's limited to one per buyer. Sometimes the best places are those hole-in-the-wall restaurants which are places not overly popular and not well known since you can easily miss it from the outside. Myeongga Mandu is one of those places. The staff there are very friendly and everything we ordered was amazing. They have a large variety of Korean comfort food like fried dumplings, buns, noodles, soups, and even crispy fried chicken. If you're looking for a place that won't break the bank but still leave you satisfied, I would highly suggest this place. Banana Leaf is a Malaysian restaurant that incorporates Indonesian, Thai, Indian, and Chinese cuisine inspiration, which is no surprise that has won several awards. Banana Leaf has expanded to many different locations across Vancouver. Whether you're trying some of their appetizers like fluffy roti kanai, their creamy rendang beef curry meat dish, or even their tropical drinks to relax like ice milk tea or coconut juice, you can't pick wrong. 